Okay, this demo is with something called the Ring Launcher. It is a coil or solenoid of wire connected to a power supply. When the button is pushed, a current flows through the solenoid which makes a magnetic field. Now if you have a moving magnetic field near a conductor, such as one of these metallic rings, it will generate a current flowing in that ring. It will also make a magnetic field and the magnetic field will oppose the magnetic field of this coil, which essentially means the ring will make a current and a magnetic field that wants to get away from this coil. So it should be launched straight up towards the ceiling. So when demoing this with students, we already start off with this first one, which is a piece of plastic. Talk about whether or not plastic is a conductor of electricity. We put it on, hold the button down. Hear a slight buzz, which means the current was just flowing through. Because this piece of plastic does not conduct electricity, there will be no magnetic field created and nothing happens. Then we grab the next one. So this is a metal ring made out of aluminum. There is in fact a slice through it, which means the current can't flow all the way around. If the current can't flow all the way around, again, nothing happens. So then we get our last ring. This is an aluminum ring. Complete circuit goes all the way around. Usually I'll tell the kids to put their goggles on and stand back at this point. They get all excited, push the button. Not much of anything happened. If you were to add a ferromagnetic core to the solenoid, you take the magnetic field that was there and essentially amplify it or magnify it. And by putting this iron core in here, we've essentially made the magnetic field close to a thousand times stronger, which means we should really see something happen now. Mm -hmm.